today's collectible spot, we are having a look at the DC Collectibles, DC Comics Bombshells, the Cheetah Numbered Limited Edition Statue. Of course, before we have a look at the statue itself, let's have a look at the box. The front of the box shows you what the statue is going to look like. A different, in a different interpretation of Cheetah. Cheetah is now uh, kind of more of a safari hunter, wearing a, a kind of safari hat. She's got a camera in hand. It's going to be an interesting, like I said, interpretation of what the character is going to look like. The side box art shows you an image of Cheetah there. Approximately, uh, Cheetah is going to be 10.7 inches high. It's designed by Aunt Lucia and sculpted by Sam Greenwell. In addition to that, on the back is a couple of uh, other images of some bombshell statues available. There is the Joker and Harley Quinn, I like to get my hands on that one, as well as Killer Frost. Below that, you can go to www.dccomics.com and below that, you can go to www.comicshoplocator.com if you'd like to find a comic, bo a comic book shop in your area. Lastly, one more look on the other side of the box. We've got a hand-sculpted cold cast porcelain statue, the image there of, or at least the top half image there, of what Cheetah's going to look like. Now, with that being said, Spot's going to take himself a break and get this opened up. When we come back, though, we're going to get a better look at the DC Comics, DC Comics bombshells, Cheetah, the numbered limited edition statue. There's more anyway, guys. Don't go anywhere. Stay tuned. Getting the Cheetah bombshell statue out of packaging, you get three different components. You get the main display base, which has that same sort of, uh, I guess, galvanized steel flooring as the bombshell's Catwoman that we also had a look at. Two peg holes on the tops. That's where the Cheetah is going to peg into place. A magnetized front. That's going to be where the plaque is going to go. And then underneath that, you have the numbered sequence out of the 5200 limited edition released. Also, it says manufactured in China, DC Comics. Uh, there are four uh, rubberized feet to prevent any sort of scratching if you happen to have it on the surface of like a table or a shelf. Then you also get yourself the placard, which has the artwork of Cheetah. I like the font also that they've used for Cheetah and very similar to the Catwoman itself, the one we look, looked at the bombshell Catwoman. The outer parameter of the placard is uh, studded. Very, very nice. And there's the magnet on the back there. Just go ahead and attach it. It's very, very secure, very, very strong magnet and perfect for displaying the statue. Now, before we go ahead and add the cheetah to the statue itself, by the way, there are the two pegs on the underside, the peg posts that will mount themselves to the statue base. But just before we do that, let's have a look at this really great looking statue. Now with the bombshell line, as we've seen with the already reviewed Catwoman, they are slight departures from maybe the original classic designs of the characters. Cheetah is no exception at all. So instead of Cheetah uh, being covered in a Cheetah costume with a Cheetah hel a hat with a Cheetah cowl, of course then later on in other incarnations of Cheetah, she was a, an actual Cheetah herself. This one is a little bit more of a kind of safari documentary or safari hunter style of design. Uh, she's got more of a, well, I guess outfit wise, she does look like somebody that would belong in like an old, maybe 50s style of safari ad. Uh, the costume, in this case, her outfit consists of a strapped or laced up beige shirt, a lower brown skirt, complete with pockets on the front long, almost knee-high socks, and boots wrapped up. Uh, it has a very vintage look to it. One of the things I do like about the bombshell line. We spin the figure around the back, or the statue around to the back. A slight then nod to also Cheetah is the wrapped around uh, Cheetah. Presumably, I don't know if it's an actual Cheetah skin or Cheetah fur, that she has wrapped around her waist that has kind of given her the slight indication of a cheetah tail. I really like that. I think that's a nice touch. A couple of other things to point out as well. She has this uh, kind of gold threading that wraps around the bust area or chest area of the statue. 
She also has a small knife already sheathed also in the side of her belt. You can see that she is sporting a uh, camera. Although when I first looked at the statue, I thought that the camera was pointing at her as if she was posing almost an original selfie, so to speak. But instead, no, it looks like she is pointing it out, perhaps at something that she is uh, either studying or possibly hunting. The face is very nice. I love the red hair, and it's not even quite dark red either, because as you can see, comparing, comparing it to the glove itself, the glove is more of a darker crimson red. When you look at those two colors together, you can see really how light the hair is. The, la the hair almost comes across more of a slight pinkish, almost a more pinkish dark, like a pinkish red, I would say, as opposed to a dark red. Some other things to, annoy, to note as well is the, uh, the slight feline eyes that they've given her. Um, her pupils and maybe comes across a little bit more unnatural and adds to that feralness to her. But the, the eyes are more of a yellow or something closer to a cat eye. It, it almost even glows uh, being outlined in the orange and then having the very, very dark uh, black pupil. And I guess I shouldn't say pu uh, yellow pupils, more yellow irises. And then you've got the dark pupils inside. Indeed, it's a slight departure from the original uh, Cheetah. I, whenever I think Cheetah, I kind of think the old challenge of the Super Friends design of Cheetah. That's kind of my go-to. So like the bombshell line is a big departure for me. Not a bad departure either. I liked, I really liked the Catwoman, but I think comparing the Catwoman to Cheetah, I think I like Cheetah just a little bit more. Now to go ahead and mount her to the display base or the the base itself, as you can see, again, there are the two posts. Just go ahead and slide those feet posts into the holes. Sometimes you actually have to just spread the legs ever so slightly to get her to stand properly in the display stand. On the display stand, she looks great. Really like the design of her. I really like the pose of her as well. Um, I think she really personifies the old vintage bombshell design. Maybe a little bit better than some of the others uh, that have been released. Um, I like the safari look of the design of the character. I like the little nods by incorporating the cheetah tail around the back, which again, you can kind of see, or you can really see quite well, uh, and by the front view of the statue itself, you can see the little curl of that tail. It does everything that really Cheetah should incorporate, but again, taking her more to a flashback vintage design that I love so much about the bombshells. Uh, this is now Spot's second bombshell statue and not likely gonna be my last as I've really, really started to fall in love with the designs of these statues. If you like the designs of the vintage bombshell uh, DC looks, I really would recommend getting the Cheetah. It's not quite the cheetah that maybe we grew up with, at least some collectors out there, but it's a really nice design, and uh, DC Collectibles has done it again. Today's collectible spot, we were having a look at the DC Collectibles DC Comics bombshell cheetah statue. Stay tuned, guys. Spot's going to have more collectible spots heading your way. As always, thanks for watching. See you next time.